Hi everyone. Tonight I feel so sleepy after I cooked tomato, lentil curry, and also cleaned the kitchen. And I also practiced yoga a lot today. So I just wanna do super quick skincare with this clarifying day oil. Francis Oily Blemished Skin, Dr. Haushka. This oil smells very refreshing and also, yeah, smell like strict fruits. Yeah, it's very smell clean somehow. And this also contains many ingredients, good ingredients, all natural ingredients like neem and Maybe calendula. <laughs> I forgot the ingredient, but uh, smell very good. And uh, this oil isn't oily at all, so very comfy to be out when I'm sleeping. Yeah, you can also use during the daytime. Today I will just use a little bit. Even this sample is only 5 ml. I think I can use maybe more than 10 times because you just need very, <laughs> yeah, maybe 3 drops of oil every time you, you use this oil. And first I warm up on my palms. Breathing, breathe out. So I enjoy this moment. So this is a mindful skincare routine. Just smell very good. And absorb very quickly. So I think this oil is very good for surfer. Safa girl or people who love swim in the swimming pool because the water in the swimming pool really damage your skin and also hair. So at least after you take shower, it's better to put a little bit natural oil like almond oil or yeah, my recent favorite is jojoba oil. Oh, and also square and oil is also good. Olive, olive extracted square and oil, the vegan square and oil is also clear color and you can use for your skin or hair or all over your body. So it's very useful oil, especially during <laughs> yeah, your trip. I often bring square and oil for my trip because I can also massage my husband. My husband has psoriasis, so when his skin becomes worse, he feels itchy, itchy or dryness. So simple oil like square oil or horse oil from Japan is very effective for his skin to moisture very well. I think this oil <laughs> smells so good. So has. Yeah, has a good relaxing effect too, but also nourish your skin very well. I recognized when I apply this oil, only little bit, next morning my face become very clear and also white. <laughs> yeah, so I think this oil has a lot of antioxidant. <laughs> I use the <laughs> oil on my palm as much as possible on my skin, uh, on my face. Usually, you shouldn't apply <laughs> moisture cream around here, but I don't care. Like, I do skincare under my eyes like this. and. I try to <laughs> moisture even 
the edge of my eyes. And uh, if you want to prevent, like, uh, yeah, if you want to prevent your eyes will become reddish after your skincare, you can also drop some, yeah, eye drop or you can also <laughs> steam your eyes with cool mist. I often do that. Yeah, this is so smell good, so I can keep my motivation to do skincare. <laughs> I often skip all my skincare routine. I think many women <laughs> do that actually. Like we buy many skincare products, but actually we are too tired to use the product and after taking a shower we just wanna go. <laughs> we just wanna dive into bed. Into our bed. Because I do red light therapy, so when I use red light therapy light, I can't use any skincare product because it's more effective to like put red light on bare skin. So because of that, I recently <laughs> Often skip all the skincare routine and just, yeah, just apply red light, light and I became, yeah, I become so sleepy and can't apply any moisturizer <laughs> anymore after I do red light therapy. Because red light therapy also include, increase your melatonin production in your body, so it really helps. Yeah, helps me to go to sleep. I tend to have insomnia. So let the light therapy really help my life too. When you have affection to your skin, your skin also react well. So even you use very simple product like Vaseline or olive oil. If you, <laughs> yeah, if you say thank you to your body and to your skin, it has even more effect on your skin. The eating habit is also very important. So eat almond or walnuts daily too. Or avocado. Like vitamin E rich food is much better than vitamin E supplement because it's more bioavailable in your body and also human cell structure yeah, resemble <laughs> to plant cell structure. The human cell has iron on the center and the plant has magnesium on the center so like many green leafy vegetables like kale or mugwarts or cucumber like all vegetables which include <laughs> chlorophyll yeah has a good effect on your skin even you apply on your skin so I remember my grandma always do her skincare with cucumber from her garden, like put the cucumber here, cucumber, cucumber. During summertime, she moisturized and cooled down her <laughs> face with yeah, many slices of cucumber. And my grandma also had a good skin until she died. <laughs> so. Yeah, until she passed away. Her skin was so beautiful, so even home helper praised her skin because her back also has, yeah, her back skin was also very smooth. Although, even after she was 80s, <laughs> I think she also loves 
yeah, natural food and many vegetables and fruits. So I think eating habit, yeah, decide almost 90% <laughs> of your skin condition and maybe 10% might be like your efforts, like skincare or massage or doing exercise occasionally. Most important thing is like you shouldn't hate your body. I hated my face and I hated my body <laughs> a lot when I was a teenager and I became anorexia and after that I became bulimia and uh, yeah I had yeah I had an eating disorder when I was 14 so <laughs> I think I healed my yeah, eating disorder completely now because I'm 36 now and uh, actually eating many things is very fun for me now so I don't afraid of eating anymore <laughs> and uh, when I overcame when I overcame my eating disorder I also learned a lot about self-care and also it's okay <laughs> to cry in front of people or to be honest to other people or to be gentle and kind to myself and not judge myself or don't try to be always good to God <laughs> for my parents or for my friends. So. Yeah, eating disorder taught so many things to me, so I don't regret because when you over, <laughs> after you overcame something very difficult mental situation or overcame your bad physical situation, you can really understand the people's feeling who are suffering from the symptoms. So. Becoming mental illness or eating disorder or like some disease like COVID-19 or yeah, other like more difficult disease like cancer sometimes teach you many things so yeah it's not necessarily but things, body, our body always try to teach us something and everything has a meaning, I guess. I wasn't going to record this video so long. <laughs> so thank you for watching so long time. And after I massage my neck and decollete, yeah, massage here. Yeah. Uh, you can image, you, you can release all the negative feelings, stress and worries during your skincare. And uh, if you don't know about massage well, you just need to massage it to your heart, like from edge, from edge of your body to your heart, to your heart. <laughs> and here has uh, the exit of limpa. So you can massage like this and like this and do this. Here, <laughs> yeah, women tend to accumulate stiffness here, especially before, yeah, before your period, I think. Like sometimes my chest hurt because uh, yeah, become too swollen. <laughs> so I sometimes do this massage. And when you massage here, next morning your face becomes smaller because of good circulation to your face, yeah. good blood circulation to your face. Yeah. 
and the body brush is also good like to like massage to your heart and release your leg pain and fatigue so you don't need special skill you just need to <laughs> massage a little bit and I'll teach you very easy Qigong routine when you do this you can strengthen your heart So good way to stimulate your body gently. My husband loves tapping therapy. 